Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss the splenic injury scale given by the AASD, that is the American Association for, Surg for the Surgery of Trauma. For hematoma, we are going to write percentage for grade 1, 2, and 3. For laceration, we will write centimeters for grade 1, 2, and 3 because these are going to be measured in terms of centimeter of parenchymal depth. Lacerations will be capsular tear or bigger lacerations and hematoma is a subcapsular hematoma. So there is one point in grade one in hematoma there are two points in the gradient we don't have to write one two like this but this is for easier understanding one two three points in grade three so subcapsular hematoma subcapsular hematoma and then grade five is a completely Shattered spleen. So when there's complete shattering, it's like as if the spleen has been crushed. It's a grade five injury. Similar to liver injury grading, the laceration, you know, the values are one less than one centimeter, one to three centimeter, and more than three centimeter parenchymal depth laceration. Or grade 3 subcapsular hematoma is less than 10 percent surface area 10 to 50 percent and more than 50 percent surface area then we have intra parenchymal hematoma of less than 5 centimeter diameter Spleen is a small organ, 10 centimeters cut off like the liver is too big. So spleen, for spleen we have 5 centimeter. If grade 2 is less than 5 centimeter, grade 3 will be intraparenchymal hem hematoma. More than 5 centimeter diameter. Third point in the grade 3 hematoma is expanding or ruptured subcapsular or parenchymal hematoma. Then there are two points on vascular aspect. So grade 5 is a highly vascular injury. It's such a highly vascular injury that the whole spleen is devascularized. The devascularized spleen. So either this or a completely shattered spleen will be grade 5. Grade 4 is major devascularization. That is more than 25% of the spleen is devascularized. What produces this major devascularization? It is a laceration of segmental or hilar vessels producing major devascularization of more than 25% of the spleen. One last point to be noted here is that um, a laceration of more than 3 cm parenchymal depth or a laceration which involves trabecular vessels is grade 3. And for grade 2, we are going to write not involving parenchymal vessels.
So let's have a look at the splenic injury scale. Grade 1 splenic injury is subcapsular hematoma of less than 10% surface area or and or a laceration that is a subcapsular tear of less than 1 cm parenchymal depth. Grade 2 is subcapsular hematoma of 10 to 50% surface area or intraparenchymal hematoma that is less than 5 cm in diameter and or a laceration that is 1 to 3 cm parenchymal depth but not involving the parenchymal vessels. A grade 3 hem uh, splenic injury is subcapsular hematoma of more than 50% surface area or intraparenchymal hematoma that is more than 5 cm in diameter or an expanding or ruptured subcapsular or parenchymal hematoma. And in terms of laceration, a grade 3 is a laceration of more than 3 cm parenchymal depth or a laceration which may not be three, more than 3 cm but it involves trabecular vessels that is grade 3. A grade 4 injury of the spleen is a laceration of segmental or hilar vessels which produce devascularization of spleen. It is a major, devascularize, major devascularization of more than 25% of spleen. In grade 5 is either a highly vascular injury with devascularized spleen or a completely shattered spleen. I hope this video helps you to memorize the splenic injury scale. Thanks for watching.